Hey guys, my name is Grace. I'm a tutor for MCAT Self Prep, and today I'm here to talk to you about the four things I did to get a 98th percentile MCAT score. So the first thing I did in my studying was to make a schedule. This was really important, not only because it allowed me to make sure that I was going to put in the number of hours of studying that I needed, but it also allowed me to stay really focused every day because I knew that I had a plan and a list of things to do that just kept me on track in my studying each day. The second important thing I did for preparing for the MCAT was to take practice tests. And when I was taking them, I made sure to simulate test conditions exactly. And this meant no looking at my phone, always adhering to the right amount of time for both the breaks and the test taking sections, and also wearing a mask in my house for eight hours. I kind of looked like a crazy person, but by adhering to these testing conditions so closely, I was able to really get used to what I was going to be faced with on test day. And when test day came along, it felt really comfortable to me because I had been practicing the same thing before and before. Also, when you're taking practice tests, you want to make sure that you allot the next day to reviewing every single answer on that test. I'm talking about understanding not only why the wrong answers are wrong and why you got them wrong, but why the right answers are right. And this is so important, not only because it's going to allow you to understand where your weak areas are, whether that be in content or in your test taking approach, but it's also going to allow you to understand the logic that the AAMC wants you to follow when they're making these questions. A lot of students like to have an Excel sheet where they can log their wrong answers and see the kind of mistakes that they might be repeating over and over again. MCAT Self Prep has a mistake analyzer that you can get online, link in the description below. So what do you do in between your practice tests? This brings me to the third thing that I did while I was studying, which is filling in the gaps. And this involves honing in on the weaknesses that you're realizing in your practice test that you have and spending time improving those. So whenever I felt like I was struggling with some piece of content knowledge, like lenses, for example, it did me a world of good to just sit down for 10 minutes and watch a Khan Academy video to clarify that concept. If your weaknesses are lying more in the test taking approach and strategy that you're using, it really helps to just do practice problems. And you should be spending the majority of your time in between tests to do practice problems. The reason for this is that when you're doing practice problems, you can slow down and really hone in on your approach to that problem. Because when you're taking a practice test, you're under a time limit and you're feeling maybe a little bit rushed, maybe you are kind of panicking and spending time with these practice problems to use new strategies. Maybe if you're having trouble with reading the question stem, you can practice that with practice problems by just slowing down and taking time to do that. You can find practice problems through a couple of the AAMC resources. This includes the AAMC section bank, the question bank, and the online flashcards. You can also find practice problems through Khan Academy and MCAT Self Prep's end of lesson quizzes. All the links to those should be popping up right here. The last thing that I did when I was preparing for the MCAT was to take care of myself. It sounds obvious, but by exercising good dietary, exercise, and sleep habits, you're going to be at your best mentally while you're doing your studying and most importantly, on test day. If you treat the MCAT like a job rather than this thing that you have to do 24 seven, then you can make a lot more time for hobbies, for seeing friends, and whatever else makes you happy. So there you have it. Those were the four things I did to score a 98th percentile on the MCAT. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're looking for an effective and affordable way to get a top MCAT score, check out MCATSelfPrep.com where you can connect with myself or one of our other tutors, access our free e-course, and so much more. Thanks and see you next time.